play, <laughs> though. He'll play. He looked like a pretty good one. Yeah. You know, y'all asked for it on YouTube, on our Jimmy Used Outdoor YouTube channel. Several people commented, you need to fish with Richard Gene, the fishing <laughs> machine. That's what you need to do. That's and, you know, I, I, I answer and I tell them, I say, you know, I actually, I actually subscribe to Richard's channel and watch his stuff, and I, I think he's a nut. I love it. I love watching him. And they said, y'all would have so much fun together. And, uh, and I was reading through the comments one day, and there was Richard Gene, the fishing machine, had commented on our deal. And I sent him a note back, and I said, call me, and let's go fishing. About the next day, I got a note from him. He said, let's go fishing. And since then, we have become really Look good fishermen, and, and we've crappie fished together and stayed together and ate together and had great times together. And, but we're bass fishing today, Richard. We're bass fishing. And Richard's a bass fisherman. Now, he does a lot of his YouTube stuff. He's got a great YouTube channel, Richard Gene, The Fishing Machine. If you're not subscribed to that channel, be sure and get on that channel right now. He catches everything, but he's a tournament fisherman, too. You've done a lot of tournament Fiddle fishing, have A lot you? of it. Love it. Not a sport on earth like it. And that's the first one of the day right there, That's pal. the first one, but I expected that. You did? Are you doggone right. <laughs> I wouldn't have had it no other way. I've kind of been waiting on you to catch the first one, but, you know, since you hadn't done it yet, I thought I might go ahead and do it. You might as well just break the ice. And get it. <laughs> now we got to go fishing. Oh. Good fish. Right what do you here. got there? What do you got, I Richard? I caught one on your smoothie. Uh, That's a about good bait, time. ain't it? Hey, you know how many times we we thrown at that point right there? We made 30 throws at that point before I, you caught that fish. I knew they were there because. Are you going to land him or are you, you teaching him how what, to swim? Here he comes right here. <laughs> I thought for a minute there you just teaching him how to swim. Oh! That's a good one. That's a good That's fish. That's a good one right, right there. there. I think it's bigger than the last one I caught. I about the same. Yep. Do you think they're peas in a pod? I believe they're about twins. I think That's they a got, beautiful they might have fish. The, they might have the same mama. That right there is a picture of health. That's correct, yep. pond man. That's management. a pretty bass. Right there. Oh, let's let him go. Way to go, buddy boy. Thank you. That smoothie's a deal, ain't it? It is. That's a great bait. Made right here in America, too. That's the best thing about it. Made right here in America. American made. Let him go. All Woo! Right. That's All the right. way we do it. <laughs> let's catch a... <laughs> Let's catch another one. Yeah, that's a male bass. Yeah, I think that was fry I was seeing right there. Look at that. There's one with him. Throw your bait down there. There's a bigger one. A bigger one. Throw your bait. Throw okay. your bait right here. There's a bigger one with him. Might be male and female both. Oh man. <laughs> Sometimes there, that, you can catch no, he's them. Got a hook in, he's got a hook in his mouth. Richard oh, and I are fishing post spawn, and uh, one of the things that you really want to look for post spawn is fry. Uh, because, you know, once the, the fish lay their eggs, obviously they're going to hatch out into baby bass and, and, you know, shad, crappie, everything's hatching out. You want to look for fry, and, if you, and that's a male bass. It's about a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. And uh, those male bass will obviously be around the fry. Now, the other thing that's around the fry is big bass. And the big bass, the big females, are not around there for any reason other than lunch. <laughs> they're going to lunch those fry. Wow. And... Uh, but you always want to look for fry, and you always want to throw around fry. I mean, you see fry in the water, and I throw in there, and I, it looked like I thought it was little raindrops. And I looked around, and the only place it was doing it was that place I threw. So I made another throw right back in the exact same spot where that fry was and, and caught that fish. And there was about a three-and-a-half pounder with that one. Mm -hmm. Followed it up. Female fish. Yeah, I'm sure that was a female. And it probably wasn't, those probably were not her fry at all. They probably, she just in there eating. You know, that, you know, Richard, that's why a, a, a bass gets so mean. Mm -hmm. You know, a bass is born, they don't ever know their mama because their mama comes in, lays the eggs, and she leaves. So they don't ever know their mama, but they know their dad. They say, well, mom left. We don't know who our mom is. Mom left. But dad's taking care of us. Dad's scaring those crawfish away. He's scaring those bluegill away. He's scared. Dad's taking care of us. And then all of a sudden, one day, Dad runs through there and eats about half of your brothers and sisters. <laughs> and they're going, oh, my God. Dad went crazy. He went crazy. And they go in this grass, and they don't come out until they got big old brown eyes about that big. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and they're mean. They're mean. The meanest yeah, fish in the world, a, I think. They've had a tough life. They're wanting to kill everything. Oh, there's one jumped there in the boat go. right there. Nice fish, too. He hit on the stop. He hit it right on the stop. That's a real oh, good nice, fish. Nice fish. That looks nice like fish. about a four pounder. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Yeah, nice fish. Look at there, look at there. That crazy. Tail walk. He's not happy. He He's ain't. not happy, as Chris would say. I don't blame him. 
Got a face full of hooks. Hooks. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. We get a belly on that booger. You know, we was talking about them bellies on them bass, and we like these bass with these big fat bellies. <laughs> Ow. I'm going to kind of stay away from these hooks. Yeah. Get a, a nice good grip. Boy, he's strong. That is a good fish. Nice good grip on that fish. Look out there, look out there. We fish there, with barbless hooks. There. You're pretty much 100%. That's a nice big fish right there. You you named him four pounds. You said just about right down there. Well, close. That's some good sugar right there. That's the best part of That's it, though, to make right letting there. them go so they can get a little bigger. Yeah. One of the things on these crankbaits you always want to remember is don't just throw it out there and crank it in. And we all get in the habit of doing that sometimes, just throwing it out there and, and crank it in. And, you, and you'll catch fish that way. There's no doubt about it. You'll catch fish that way. Just throw it out. Throw it out there and crank it in. You're going to catch fish. But mm -hmm. you'll catch a lot more fish if you do a lot of stop and go. Stop jerk your rod go. tip a little bit every now and then. If you feel it touch something, you might want to jerk your rod tip in case it's a little piece of grass. You might knock it off. Stop. Wind. Stop. Make it erratic. Do a lot of different things with it. There's not any one thing that, and, and you know, pay attention, you know, and just like that right there, the first thing I noticed, obviously, was that, that, that it hit on the stop. You know, I cranked, and just as I stopped, it stopped going. Now, this crankbait right here is not a suspended crankbait. Once you get in the water temperature, it gets up warm like it is right now. We got water temperature on my Garmin, says uh, 73.40. This crankbait here, you throw it out there and you pull it down, you stop. You see how fast it comes back to the top? It comes back to the top pretty fast. Look at that, it pops right up. Uh, this crankbait here is not a suspended crankbait, but what you want to do, so when you stop that bait, and you don't want to leave it stopped very, you pull that thing down, and you see that right there? You see, you stop it. You want to stop and keep control of it. Stop. See, just barely let it come up, barely let it come up. See, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving that thing. I'm not stopping very much, just almost a pause, see that? So it just pause with that, and it comes up. That's diving down, y'all probably can't see that real good on camera, but see that right there, see how fast it pops back up? See, so when you stop, it's gonna pop back up. And when it pops back up, that's a lot of times when they get it. And the other good thing about that is they usually get it a little bit deeper and you might get both sets of treble hooks in the fish, which is what you wanna do. There's one right there. There he is. A nice fish too. <coughs> See, uh, just as I said, there ought to be some suspended in the treetops. There was one suspended in the treetops. <laughs> That's another thing that bass do. Look at Oh there. yeah. That's another thing that bass do after they get through spawning. They cannot go deep immediately. They have about a week or 10 days, maybe two weeks, I don't know exactly, but uh, that they can't go deep. And so what they end up doing is they, they will go out and they will suspend relatively shallow in deep water. I'm in 43 foot of water right now. I caught this on a crankbait that's running about five foot deep. A deep smoothie, American original deep smoothie. These crankbaits are made in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about made in the USA. They're that, absolutely folks. the best crankbait you can, you can throw. I mean, absolutely the best crankbait. Mm. There's a fish spinning. I'm yeah, just talking about that. Just and got through said, it, just Here come I am. out of your mouth. Ah, suspended right on top of this tree. That's that instinct but, we was talking about. And, and they're, yeah, and they're down there. They're not deep. This water's 43 foot deep, but that fish was probably, you know, he. I bet he was no more than five or six feet. What's your favorite? Would you rather fish stained water than you had ultra clear water? Oh, absolutely. Me too. Absolutely. I like dingy, muddy water. You know, from Oklahoma, we fish a lot of water in the springtime. It, it looks like Yoo-Hoo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, lakes get up and get muddy, and we've—I uh, know you're old enough to know what Yoo-Hoo is from the yeah. south. You know, chocolate milk. Chocolate and, milk. And uh, that's what you know. I fish a lot of them like that, and you learn to catch fish in that kind of water. And and, and the big big thing about fishing muddy water, to me, Richard, is you learn. You know, when you start catching fish out of really really muddy water. I mean, you can run a spinner bait right on the surface and you can't see the bait. All you can see is the blade. Mm -hmm. That's how muddy it is. And you start catching big bass out of it. And, it, you know, the big thing is you learn that you can still catch them in muddy water. There's fish. <laughs> oh, no! that's a nice one. That was a nice one, too. Well, I'm going to have to show that one because that, that was a perfect example of what Jimmy was talking about. That was exactly it, right under that fry. About a three-pounder, too. Wasn't about it? a three-pounder, right yep. up under the fry, just like they're supposed to be. You That's see the fry, pattern. you throw at him. 
definite pattern. There we go. Another fish. You got another one? Got a good one here. Oh, it is a nice one. Pretty good fish. That is a nice one. Look out there, look out there, I look think, out there. I think we're getting this steep bluff area. We got a better chance of catching fish. I believe she worked one hook out, but. Oh, you got her hook good. That's a pretty fish right there. I believe there. I can go ahead and just flip that fish. There we go. All right, nice I don't one. like to do that. Ah, we nice hurt her. A good, good one. Fish. Good fish. Good fish. You don't like to do that? I like to do that. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> they ain't nothing like the sport of fishing, folks. It is good, 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 good. You can learn a lot out here to keep you out of trouble. It's honest. And it's fun. And it's fun. Let's let her go. Sometimes it's more fun than other times. Yeah. Boy, I made a cast in. I ought to catch two on Ooh. that cast. It was so good. That fish was tight, real tight. You should shake off. Nah, them hooks is too sharp for that. Got him. Ooh, that's a nice one. Too. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Whew. Nice fish right there. You bet. My, my. And I visually seen that one eat that crankbait, too. Did you? I did. Right up there, shallow. When I stopped that is it, so it was, steep right there. I mean, it's just like five foot away from the bank. It would be ten foot deep or more. Come back here. You know what? I done figured out. You you must have watched a lot of Bill dance when you were growing up. <laughs> you, you, you act like you're teaching them fish how to swim. Oh, um, trying to teach them how to well, swim. Well, this one just it had she had two hooks in her and one come loose. Oh. So I was trying to get another one in in her <laughs> jaw there, but that's a nice fish. That's a good fish. I saw her jump out of the water back there. I learned from y'all, from mainly you, when it comes to spinner baits, I've learned a lot about them spinner baits, and there's a lot to it. Oh, blade size, color, there's a lot to that. A lot to spinner baiting, but it's one of the it's one of the best things in the world you can do to catch fish. Absolutely. I think I had my power pole hung up back there. Let's catch another one. Woo! Let's do her. Yeah. There we go. There one finally come up and got it on top. That one come up and got it. I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. <laughs> oh, nice fish. There too. you go. I mean, a nice fish. That's a good he one. He come right up there. and hit that baby on top. I got some more crankbaits laying right here. Okay. Get you a crankbait right oh, there. Oh, don't worry about that. I want to see you catch your fish. That's, oh, that's a good one. That's the best one of the day right there. That's a nice one. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, Look yeah. at there. <laughs> Look well, how I'm healthy that about. one is. He got one hook in him. One hook. One hook. That's all you need. One hook. That is a textbook largemouth. See Isn't how that, that fish is built. Isn't that pretty? That's a dandy right there. It's a healthy yeah. fish, folks. That was the first one that hit. You know, you've been saying you've been seeing them, so I left that there just a little bit longer, just barely wiggled and hit it just like a topwater. And it just sounded like a top all. Water. Sounded like an M40 going on. I got a few more baits laid out here. Uh, by there, booger. Right here. The spinner baits and some deep smoothies. Okay. I got one. That, I got that color there, but that don't look too good. Ah, just uh, any one you think I can catch them with. And that well, that, is that the color you use? That's the color there. Yeah, yeah, you want that exact same color? Yes, sir. Or you want the other color? No, I like that one. <laughs> I thought you said any color I thought. <laughs> well, I give me the other one. That might no, be the color. No, I, I, you get that same color. This oh, one is man. one that I must have found somewhere. It's got lying on it and it's kind of messed up. It's an old bait. Got a spider growing in it. <laughs> that's probably a good one, though. That would catch them. Yeah, that's one that somebody's lost and I found floating in the lake somewhere. Sometimes those are the best baits you find floating in a lake somewhere. Yeah. That's a bluegill pattern, looks like, or yep. something. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, Jimmy. I love that. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! I, hit that I got fish. it. Woo! I got mm. it. <laughs> but that fish exploded. I wasn't looking that way, but I heard it. It sounded well, like I've been, a... Well, I've been trying to fish it a little bit there for about the first foot, foot like a topwater anyway, and mm -hmm. you caught a couple of those there just as you first kind of started cranking it. And it's a like good a, one too. He acts like a good one. 
There we go. Oh, he yeah, goes he hung goes. up around something, yeah, one of those trees. Around. Still a pretty good fish. He's about a two pounder, he two and a half. A... Oh. He was solid there for a minute, wasn't he? He was. Oh, yeah, good fish. Nice fish. I'm gonna quit messing with him like that. Let me do it like you can Jimmy Houston. He does this. Want. There you go. He just puts <laughs> them in the boat and goes on about his business. All that fighting there, you could have done caught another fish during that fight, couldn't you? I just thought you were teach, trying to teach him how to swim. That's <laughs> there okay. You. I don't mind that. That's a good one. Let him swim around there. That'd be okay. Good fish. Good fish. That will be okay. I can't get another one to come up here and hit it on top. Yep. Up underneath that piling, you called it. Good one. Nice little fish, too. Richard called that fish for me. A good place to catch them, right up underneath all that pollen. Yeah, they can't see through that pollen just like we can't see through that pollen. Mm -mm. That's a nice fish right there, I promise you. I promise you. Beautiful. Well, Richard, we've had a day out here today for sure, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Y'all, if you're not subscribed to Richard Gene, the fishing machine, be sure and subscribe to his channel. Hit that little bell for him, and you'll know every time he puts a video up, he puts up one about two, three times a week, a lot of times, and and uh, and he's, he's, he's just kind of, uh, he's kind of like me, he's kind of a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> but I'm telling you what, he has fun out here fishing, and that is what counts, is fun out here fishing. Caught all of our fish today, I guess every single one of them, on American Original Deep Smoothie, this made, bait made right over in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Kiss the bait. Kiss your bass. <laughs> Richard, great day, buddy. Thanks for coming to Oklahoma. Hey, you got to return the favor. I got to come down here and fish Gunnersville with you. No doubt. I wouldn't have it no other way. Absolutely, buddy. I have enjoyed it. I really have. More than y'all know. It's been a blast. It's been a blast. Uh, woo. <laughs>